Hi, welcome to this Major Gift Fundraising 201 video series where we discuss fundraising basics and beyond. I'm Amy Eisenstein, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to engage your board members in only 15 minutes a month. This topic is really important to me because whenever I see a board that's engaged in fundraising, those organizations raise more money, whether it's for an annual fund or a capital campaign. When board members are engaged and involved in fundraising, the organization benefits. And so that's what I want for you. The first step is to make sure that you have 100% board participation. That's the basics. We don't need to go over that. Every board member needs to make a gift. They need to lead by example. Today, we're gonna to go beyond those basics and figure out how to create a culture of philanthropy at your organization and really engage your board members. Now, we want to say our board members only need to help with fundraising in 15 minutes a month or less so that they do what they say they're gonna do. Board members are busy and sometimes our expectations of what they can or will do are unrealistic. And so I like to talk about having your board members help in 15 minutes a month because it's doable. It's achievable. Every board member can give you 15 minutes a month. And if they do and when they do, it really moves the needle on your fundraising. So let's start with activities at home. We can ask board members to write three thank you notes a month. We can ask them to make two thank you calls. We can ask them to sign a few appeal letters. There are lots of things that board members can do in 15 minutes a month or less. They can make a referral and introduce you to a friend or to a colleague via email. So lots of things that they can do in 15 minutes a month or less. The more concrete and tangible and specific you are, the more successful they're going to be. So by giving them the bullet points, whether they're making a call or sending a note or sending an email, they're gonna be more successful if you've written it out for them or at least the bullet points for them. Now, we wanna change the culture at your board, at your organization to a culture of philanthropy. And we can also do this in about 15 minutes a month at every single board meeting. So instead of having your typical board report delivered as part of your board meeting, I want you to take your fundraising, the fundraising time on the board meeting agenda and turn it into a fundraising discussion. Here are some examples of topics that you can discuss. First and foremost, gratitude. Let's ease everybody in gently. So talk about thanking. Start by opening up and asking a question for everybody to think about a time that they've been thanked that's been really meaningful. And think about why it's been meaningful and ask a few people to share. Then talk about other ways that board members have been thanked by other nonprofit organizations. And think about any that really stand out. Finally, wrap up the conversation by discussing what you currently do to thank donors and what you might do and how board members can help. Don't leave the meeting until every board member has thought about ways that they might be able to get engaged in whatever topic you're talking about. Now, that doesn't mean that every single time you have a discussion like this, every single board member is gonna be enthusiastic and willing to help with whatever the topic is. But thanking is usually an easy one. If you give people an opportunity to make a few thank you calls or write a th few thank you notes, especially at the beginning or the end of a board meeting, everybody's gonna be able to participate successfully in that. Another topic you might have at a different board meeting is cultivation. How do you currently build relationships between donors or potential donors and your organization? And have a brain dump. List the ways up on, a, on some butcher paper. Have somebody up at the front of the room. All ideas are welcome. How do you currently engage people and uh, 
and involve them in your organization, build relationships. So you invite them to events, you invite them to volunteer, you send them newsletters, you send them personal notes, you call them and you give them updates. You sit down with them for coffee and get to know them. So a big brain dump and then ask each board member to think about one way that they might be able to help engage somebody or build a relationship between somebody in their network and your organization. Finally, a third idea is to have a discussion about planned giving and bequests. Now, of course, this is a, uh, a delicate topic because nobody wants to talk about death and money and of course, planned gifts and, and especially bequests, it's both. And so, but if you're not talking about it and your board members are uncomfortable talking about it, then what is the chance that anybody's actually gonna leave your organization a bequest? So in advance of the board meeting, send an email out or pick up the phone and make calls even better and ask board members if they have any charitable bequests in their wills. Ask them if they'd be willing to share why they do and how easy it was to add one into their will. It doesn't have to be to your organization. They don't even have to share um, to what organization they're leaving their bequest, but if they'd be willing to share that they have a charitable bequest, why they did it, and um, and how easy it was, quite frankly, um, then it becomes part of the discussion. Why you can you can have the discussion? Why is it dis difficult to talk about bequests, and what are the benefits, and how beneficial? Uh, bequests are for charitable organizations. So that's a third fundraising topic that you could have a discussion at your board meeting. So no more fundraising reports. You'll send those in advance and ask for questions. Um, but at, at your fundraising, at your board meetings from now on, during your fun 15 minutes of fundraising time, have a discussion about fundraising. So a final thing thought to have at your your board meetings is celebrating success. So in the previous month or quarter, if any board members have helped with fundraising, either by picking up the phone to make a phone call, bringing someone for a tour, meeting someone for coffee, whatever the case may be, um, highlight it, point them out, share about how meaningful and how um, how much of a difference it made so that other board members feel like, oh, that's all they had to do, or that's how simple it was, I can do that too. So now it's your turn. I'm curious, how do you engage your board members in fundraising, in major gift fundraising? How do you get them involved in the process? I'd love to know in the comments. Um, if you like this video, I hope you'll share and subscribe. And that's it for now. You're on your way to raising major gifts, and I'll see you next time.